Hi, this is Lisa, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use Digo to save bookmarks to the MCC pod group so that faculty at Maricosta and elsewhere can see the interesting things that you've saved. Digo is spelled D I I G O, that's digo.com, and you have to go there first and get an account. And once you've done that, I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in. The first thing you see when you sign in is your library. If you just want to add a bookmark and you have the URL, you can do that using the um, Add button here and just add a new bookmark. But first we want to join the MCC Pot group. So to do that, I'm going to go to the search, type in MCC Pot, find groups interested in MCC Pot, and that group is located here. Now, I'm already a member, but it would give you a button here for you to join the group, and then you, you have joined, and that's done. Now, back to the, the library. Then, if I want to add a new bookmark, and I have the URL, and I can title it whatever would be helpful. Then I click on Share to a Group. It's going to give me a drop-down menu now with an option, uh, one of these options. Let me show you because it's going off the screen. Because I have a lot of groups, one of these options is MCC Pot. So when I add the new bookmark now, it will show up in the MCC Pot group. I can go to My Groups click on MCC Pod, it's saying one new bookmark, and here it is, the bookmark with my comment. Now I what I do is I use this button, the RSS feed button, and that makes it possible for me to put onto the um, Pedagogy First blog or onto the Maricosta Pot blog um, the newest bookmarks that have come up, and that makes it very easy for faculty to find. So just as an example, at the uh, Pedagogy First blog, right here, everything that has been bookmarked recently to the MCC pot group is showing up here and is easy to find. So that's how you do it. Thanks for helping by uh, sharing resources with Maricosta faculty.